The finding I'm going to talk about today comes from a research article that is titled Telomerase Gene Therapy in Adult and Old Mice Delays Aging and Increases Longevity Without Increasing Cancer. This article was published by Maria Blasco's group in 2012 in Embo Molecular Medicine. To start off talking about this finding, we're going to talk about our DNA. Our DNA defines who we are, how our cells behave, how we behave, and to a certain extent, what happens to us. Our DNA is organized in chromosomes, which we have 46 of. The chromosome is simply a linear piece of DNA. But one interesting part about chromosomes is that they get shorter as we age. They behave kind of like a clock, and they are responsible for many aging symptoms that we develop, such as decreased renewal of organs such as the intestines and the skin. From these facts, one could assume that if we could prevent chromosomes from getting too short, we could prevent aging and maybe increase lifespan. This is exactly what this group at the Spanish National Cancer Center has done. What they did exactly is they took adult and old mice and added more of a protein called telomerase. This protein is known to extend chromosomes, and they hypothesized that adding back more telomerase in old mice could delay aging. So they looked at the lifespan as well as some aging and health parameters in mice with or without added telomerase. And what they found was extremely interesting. They found that adding telomerase in mice for a duration of two to six months makes the mice live 20% longer than mice without telomerase. The average lifespan increased as well as the age of the oldest mice. Instead of the oldest mouse living for two and a half years, they now lived more than three years. But that's not all. Not only were the mice living longer, but they also had fewer age-related complications, such as osteoporosis and insulin resistance, which is the basis of type 2 diabetes. They had better coordination, balance, and neuromuscular coordination. Essentially, two-year-old mice that were given telomerase for six months now looked almost identical to one-year-old mice for the parameters that were tested. To figure out how telomerase was doing this, the scientists wanted to make sure that telomerase treatment was extending the length of the chromosomes. In fact, they found that adding telomerase prevented chromosomes from getting short over time, and that this was the reason for the increased lifespan and increased health of these mice with added telomerase. What was also very novel about this study is that the mice that lived longer due to telomerase treatment did not have an increased risk of developing cancer, contrary to what had been seen previously in other conditions. So why did the researchers think that giving mice more telomerase may cause them to develop cancer? As you now know, telomerase treatment prevents chromosomes from getting too short. This prevents cells from aging, and therefore, the cells can live longer. This can be good under certain circumstances, such as Alzheimer's disease, but can be very detrimental in others. Why is that? Well, if cells are living longer, they divide more, and are in turn more likely to undergo uncontrolled growth and become cancerous. As humans, we are trying to live longer, but if all of our cells also try to live longer, we get cancer. So it was very much possible that adding telomerase could allow cells to continue dividing beyond their normal lifespan and become cancerous. So what this study was able to do is make a whole organism, in this case the mouse, live longer without increasing the likelihood of developing cancer. So overall, what did this study show? It showed that adding telomerase in old mice does the following. Number one, it makes the mice live longer. Number two, these mice have fewer aging symptoms. Number three, these mice do not develop an increased risk of developing cancer. Number four, this is all because telomerase can prevent chromosomes from getting shorter as we age. So this is a very interesting study that provides the proof of principle that we can increase lifespan without increasing cancer. So all of this hopefully seems exciting to you, and it certainly is. But this definitely does not mean that we should all start taking any measure possible to increase our levels of telomerase. Why not, you may ask? Well, because this may be more complicated than we think. Adding telomerase in young mice actually increased cancer, so the age at which telomerase therapy is effective may be critical. Also, and more obviously, this study was only done in mice, and mice are not humans. 
In fact, mice have telomerase already all over their bodies, but humans do not. So it is not necessarily the case that adding telomerase in humans would not increase cancer risk or would extend lifespan at all. It is also important to find a good way to introduce telomerase in humans because the system that was used in mice, a viral infection, may not be safe for humans. So as you can see, scientists are making progress to understand what happens when we age and how we can prevent or even reverse it. But we still have a lot of work to do to understand how this can be applied to humans. But this study is definitely a milestone in the field of aging and a proof of principle that telomerase is an important target for aging research or premature aging-related diseases.